Hey, nipples. Randy. Nipples. Hey. Some people are hey. wired. Some people Nip. aren't. Nip. Nip that in the butt. Oh, God. Hello! Welcome back to... What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today... We're talking about my favorite thing. Me! Mm. And... Nipples! Nipples! <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that was a good save. <laughs> Wasn't it? So we sit here today, abreast, uh, talking about this is the best way to turn Christopher on when you're trying to have a scene. I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> Did you say you wanted me to nip that in the butt? No, yes, I would. Um, <laughs> I and we wanted to talk about this topic because it's something that's not super clear why it turns some people on. And some people off. But to start, we have to kind of understand what the nipple is and how it works. And there's two parts to the nipple. There's the big round part that you see, the areola, mm -hmm. and then there's the protruding part that's kind of just the nipple. Studies done at Rutgers University show that brain scans have shown nipples stimulate the same area as the genitals, which may explain why people can be stimulated by the nipples alone. And in some people, it is pleasurable because within the embryonic stages of developing, those nerves within your nipples share the same route to the brain as your genitals. But wait a tit. Oh God. Some nipples are incredibly sensitive. Sensitive though, does not always mean pleasurable. For instance. Mine are sensitive and it means pleasurable. No, no. For some people, stimulating the nipples causes a hormone to be released called oxytocin, which causes pleasurable sensations to the brain. I'm very proud of you for getting that off your chest. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, if you do puns and then you, you stimulate <laughs> positive reinforcement. Speaking of getting something off my chest, I am into the kink that is nipple play. <gasps> Surprise. I'm more surprised at the pun than the kink. <laughs> <laughs> the paraphilia that is mastofact, breast partialism, or mastophilia is not only the attention to the nipple, but the obsession of the nipple. Or just the sexual arousal from seeing and touching nipples. For some species, the nipples and breasts enlarge during ovulation, thus we have this fascination and attraction to them. Mind don't. Oh, you're not ovulating? I'm not ovulating. Oh. <laughs> For others, they just love the taboo that is nipples. It's something that we hide throughout the day. They like to touch, they like to bite, they like to feel. And for those that are into nipple play and nipple fetishes, they like to sometimes make their nipples bigger, prominent, protruding. I would never. So how do we stimulate them and play with them during sex? Well, there's a lot of rolling, pinching, biting, Another great way to stimulate your nipples is to get them pierced. And while that's not for everyone, I can't do piercings, it's a great way to stimulate someone who has a lot of nerve endings there. And they're also one of the best and quickest healing piercings that you can get. But be careful. It's also been known that people with sensitive nipples that worked before once got pierced, deadened. And the opposite could be true. You might not feel sensitivity, but once you get pierced, all of a sudden it's a whole new world. A one with fantastic points of view. That's not no even, that's one not to even tell us no, no, or where no. to no. grab our nipples. Some even call this, you know, they, they use the term akuna matatas because <laughs> nipple play means no worries for the rest of your days in bed when someone's really hardwired to them. Because it's really, it's really easy to get him stimulated, like just. It's or another great way to stimulate is toys. There's all sorts of suction devices, clamps, pinching devices that you can use on nipples that are lots of fun and cause lots of reactions. And different sensations. First, suction toys. Ooh, suction. We have some that twist and pull. You can put them on the nipple, get them a little wet around the edges. Along the same lines, we have very simple silicone-based suction toys that you can, again, add some water, pinch, and you get a nice suction right there on the nipple. Which suction of devices does suck the blood into the nipple and will cause them to get larger and larger over time. Also, clamps. Clamps are lots of fun. And tick clamps come in all shapes and sizes. For one, we have forceps, and these guys are the medical 
kind of grade. And they can start out really loose or you can actually tighten as you push down. Those aren't coming off. These <laughs> have more of a light pressure to them. Uh, these are clover clamps. And while they are a little more bitey than say some of the suction sorts of toys, they are fun for those that really like the pinching, biting, oh, ow, uh, ooh, intense stimulation. And actually the intense part comes when you take them off because the blood rushes back into the nipple. So you, over time, will get used to the feeling of the pressure on your nipples. So it only, almost is numb. But then when they come off, blood rushes in, endorphin rush, it's so great. So great. <laughs> And then there's sensations like temperatures. You can use ice to get nipples to be very erect. You can use your cigar, get it really close and heat it up. One of my favorites. Smoking hot. So when I was looking online and researching for this topic a little bit, there were lots of questions from people. For instance, how did you get into nipple play? Actually, it kind of grew for me personally over time. I'm, my nipples weren't sensitive in my 20s for some reason. I never really discovered them until my 30s kind of tapped into, oh, that's enjoyable. And then I asked for it every single time after and it just became a part of my brain of what feels good. And so you almost trained yourself in a way because there was a lot of people also asking, how do I train my nipples to be hardwired? Because they like that idea of just being able to twist and I've, I've heard that question a lot and it's really, you have to work with what you've got. Everyone has different shape and sensitivity in their nipples and yes, you can pump them and make them bigger, but it really is just playing with them and just triggering that enjoyment level in your own brain. And at the same time, training your nipples is a very serious thing online. People asked how they can train their nipples and how they got their nipples to look a certain way. Some people are very much about the aesthetic and actually depending on the size and width and like distance, mm -hmm. you can actually train your nipple to become longer or wider. thicker or wider. For longer, thinner pumps and suction toys, that actually is going to lengthen. But for wider toys, wider, smaller toys, that's actually going to make it seem larger in general. The follow-up question, if people are training their nipples, are they gonna stay that way? You mean once you get them big, can they go back down? Yeah. Oh no. They tend to grow as you get older. The more you bite, chew, cause anything that causes a scab, mm. they're gonna get a little more callousy and bigger, and no, that will never reverse. So you're saying there's scars involved, almost like the Lion King. Another really big question was, does nipple play make me gay? Because <laughs> lots of straight boys are really concerned about that. Oh, straight boys are concerned. <laughs> um, are you gay? Well, I don't have this conversation right now. <laughs> and then there was a really good scientific question was, is one nipple generally more sensitive than the other? It just depends on your body. Sure, and, and your body isn't perfect. It's not, one eye is sometimes better than the other, one ear is sometimes better than the other. And so I think studies actually show that one nipple can be more sensitive than the other. <laughs> so at the end of the day, if you like just a little bit of touching around the areola, or you like a area <laughs> like tug it. <laughs> Always have a safer and today's safer it is. Tug it. Okay. Harder. Harder. Alright, ooh, ow. You're, I thought you were into this! So don't forget to leave a comment down below of what kink you'd like to see us cover next. That's where you go. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to leave a thumb up down below if you want to put them on my nipples. And we'll see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye! And tick clamps come in all shapes. Do you mind not? <laughs> to friends. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I see that. Look, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> that did just like fly off.